What's up guys, Franco here, nextlevelballplayer.com. Got Coach C, pitching coach at Duke. Uh, appreciate you taking a few minutes. Absolutely. Yeah, when you're, uh, when you're working with younger pitchers, uh, new players in the program, or even high school guys, what are a few core things that, that you try to instill in them uh, uh, to give them a foundation? I think it's big with our, with our incoming guys, which are freshmen, we kind of deal with them early on. It's just getting them used to kind of the speed of the game, holding runners a lot, um, you know, rhythm and tempo and repeatability of their delivery, uh, trying to get them to to get used to that day-to-day -day grind, what it takes to be a, a college pitcher. And some of that I call like the speed of the game or just, you know, the pace of, of college baseball. And that's doing something every day, you know, a part of your craft, whether it's dry mechanics, you know, your bullpens or your inner squads or, your, you know, whether you're in relief, starting roles and things like that, just getting them used to, kind of the day-to-day -day grind and the pace of things. Yeah, what's the biggest separator between good and great pitchers that you've been around and, and that you see on a regular basis? Um, being at the convention today, I think the biggest word everybody always says is compete. And I think that's, you know, I, I think that kind of speaks for itself. All our guys that are our better guys really, you know, maybe not are our best stuff guys, but they're the guys that go out there and they compete, you know, day in and day out, whether they're starters or relievers they enjoy that one-on-one -on -one matchup between them and the hitter um, really thrive on the moment and, and want to be in those tight situations but and also I mean guys they, they can repeat their delivery and, and understand the zone and, and know how to you know, pitch guys I think is beneficial but you know competitiveness and, and guys that have poise on the mound it is huge what would be the ideal mindset if, of, a, of a pitcher in your program uh, when they're on the mound in a pressure situation we kind of have a saying or philosophy in our program that whether you're the Friday night guy, which everybody wants to be, or you're the you know, Tuesday starter, the guy that comes in relief whenever, uh, that you're the ace of the staff. So we, you know, whoever's on the mound at the time who has the ball, you know, we tell them you're the ace of the staff. Only one guy can be on the mound at a time. And I think if we can get, we have 18 pitchers right now, if we can go out and get all 18 guys to believe in that, that you're going to have a pretty good chance with the competitive staff. So. You know, our guys laugh about it because I say it all the time, but they buy into it. And I think that, you know, once they get on the mound, they enjoy that, that, that label that I'm the ace at that time. That's awesome. Now, when players send you, a high school player sends you a video uh, and, you're, and you're evaluating, you know, if you want to continue recruiting that player, what's the first thing you look for? Or what, what do you need to see in order to take that next step and contact him and continue that process? I think a lot, it's tough to see off a video without you know, velocity and you know, sure. people can say that that's not important, but, but it is to a certain extent. Um, but I think, you know, we look at mechanics, athleticism, how the body moves, how it flows. You know, if, if the delivery is, is repeatable um, and the projectability side of it, and, and obviously poise and body language and things like that, as much as you can get from the video, um, you know, I think is beneficial. But more or less, the way the body moves and the projectability is going to kind of dictate how much further you kind of take that from the video. Cool. And final question, what's one piece of advice you give pitchers out there looking to take their game to the next level? You know, I, Really do your research and find a routine. I tell our guys that we recruit all the time. I think it's a, it's a different dynamic where at Duke we get a little bit more, you know, different kid that's more self-directed, and they have a lot of good routines. You know, and there's not always an exact process to this throwing, but if you can get yourself in a routine and learn from it, learn from the results, make adjustments. But if you start off with a plan, that's what you need, kind of a routine and a plan to get started. That's awesome. Appreciate your time, man. No problem. Anytime. It is time for